Welcome on our uh, welcome to our practice question on negative feedback. Uh, again, negative feedback concept that comes up often in exam situations and that. So probably a good idea that we do another practice question on this. So I uh, apologize for the layout there. It's just tough with PowerPoint to get it to the way I want it to, but we can uh, we can work our way through it. So here it says use the following diagram to answer the next two questions. Okay, and that's important. So we know there's going to be two questions pertaining to this diagram be uh, below. It says, for this question, assume that the diagram represents negative feedback. So we do recognize negative feedback, of course. Negative feedback, of course, is the shut-off mechanism for a hormone. Once the hormone has accomplished, accomplished its uh, job, uh, we need to turn that uh, hormone off uh, and keep the body into homeostasis. Uh, for the hormone, primarily responsible for regulating metabolic rate. Wow, there's something we recognize here. We've talked about metabolic rate before. We've talked about it in the capacity of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. So when I see that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in right away here. It says the hormone does not have a specific target organ. Instead, it stimulates all cells of the body and uh, gets them to metabolize at a faster rate. So we know the hormone we've talked about uh, with uh, TSH. Let's just do a really quick little, just beside this sheet here, or besides this diagram, let's just fill it in really quickly. So we said the hypothalamus, hypothalamus uh, sends a releasing hormone to the posterior, or sorry, in this case, the anterior pituitary, which then releases this hormone 2, which is TSH, thyroid stimulating hor hormone, which is going to target this gland right here. We're just filling this in. And that, that, of course, is the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is going to release this hormone right here, number 3, thyroxin. And we know thyroxin increases uh, cell metabolism. Okay, so really quickly, again, we knew this had to do with metabolic rate because we made our notes. We recognize that. We talk about TSH, just fill it in. And this is the best way you're gonna get lots of different questions that have this type of diagram on it. And best practices is to uh, just fill it in fill in what the hormones are. So this hormone here, of course, is the releasing hormone. Okay, so let's go to the question here now. And because it says metabolic rate, it says which row correctly identifies the hormones indicated by one? So they're asking what this is. And they're asking what this hormone is. And they're asking what this one is. But now that we fill this out, the question's very easy. So number one, we've already filled it in, releasing hormone. Number two, pituitary uh, gland is releasing thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. And then the thyroid is releasing number three, which is thyroxin. Very easy question when you fill that in there. Now these other ones uh, have nothing, uh, are, uh, nothing to do with metabolic rate. So even if we used process of elimination, if we didn't take the time to fill that into our diagram, we know that this doesn't have anything. This doesn't have anything here to do with metabolic rate, the pancreas, all these. We could have eliminated those right off the bat and come up with our correct answer number eight. So if we look at uh, part two, uh, this again pertained, this diagram pertained to two questions. Uh, the question here says number five. So this number five, when we have three, so just going back, we said number three, we said was thyroxin. And number five, this dotted line is number five. We know that the dotted line represents negative feedback. So we know that when high thyroxin levels uh, are circulating in the blood, that's eventually detected by the hypothalamus. It's also showing that uh, it goes directly to the high levels are detected by the pituitary as well. But they're asking for number five on the diagram. So that's going right to the hypothalamus. So let's see what the question has to say. It says uh, uh, the number five on the diagram would cause the release of the following hormone. So high levels of thyroxin are detected by the hypothalamus, which then sends a 
inhibiting hormone to the pituitary to stop releasing this TSH, right? And this is how we're going to get these levels down. Again, negative feedback is the shutoff mechanism. So when we see that, that would cause the hypothalamus not a releasing hormone because that would continue to release TSH, which would therefore increase the roxin levels even higher than they are. And the obvious answer right here is the inhibiting hormone. Okay, ACTH, that has nothing to do with metabolism, right? Thyroid stimulating hormone, we know that the hypothalamus doesn't release that. It's the actual pituitary. So it wouldn't be this one uh, either. And again, uh, just a couple of things here. The dotted line on these type of diagrams often represents negative feedback. Hypothalamus responds by sending, if it's the anterior pituitary, it has to send an inhibiting hormone to the anterior pituitary to stop releasing that, in this case, TSH. And this, again, negative feedback is how we keep uh, the hormonal balance, uh, hormones in balance after they've completed their job. Okay, thanks guys. Any issues with negative feedback or any of this, these questions, just give me a email and we can, uh, we can go over it with you again. If not, uh, good luck on all your exams. Thanks guys, bye.